Hello guys, welcome back to another video. I hope you guys enjoyed the last video as much as I did, as it was a GTA 5 money glitch. This one is another GTA 5 money glitch, and it also is solo. So make sure you guys subscribe and smash that like button if you guys want to stay up to date. And make sure you have post notifications turned on, because I'll be posting pretty much daily videos now, because I am on holidays. And we're just going to crash this plane and get started. Alright, alright, so once you guys are in solo mode, you're going to want to go to this location on screen. Yes, I said solo mode to make sure you're on solo. So you go to this location and you want to find the purity plant. As you can see, we're just hopping out of the helicopter and we're going to go to the purity plant. Once you're at the purity plant, we're just going to eat it. As you guys can see, we're just walking over to it now just so you guys know what it looks like. As you can see, it says to eat the purity plant. And once you guys eat it, all right, so we're going to eat the purity plant now. And it's going to give you alert, accept it, and you're going to eat it. Once you guys eat it, you're going to trip out and you're going to turn into a different animal. Once you guys turn into that different animal, all you guys want to do is kill yourself. Because you guys are really high up, you can just jump off the cliff and pretty much kill yourself. Or if you spawn as a bird, just dive straight down to the ground. As you've seen on screen, we're just going to dive straight to the ground. As soon as you guys touch the ground, you're going to want to click the PS button or Xbox button and take you guys out of the game. Once you click the button, you want to go back to the activities and start up a GTA 5 online activity. Alright, so we're going to go to activities, GTA 5 online activities, and we're going to click accept and then go to GTA 5 online. As you guys can see, GTA 5 online. Yep. As you can see, we're going to a white screen. Once we go to the white screen, we're going to go to the network settings, disconnect the network. And then we're going to go back to GTA 5, wait for the another alert, and then we're going to go back and connect our internet. There's the alert. I'm going to go back to the internet settings and connect it back. Once you've connected it back, you're going to wait for your internet to come back online. Once it's came back online, you can start up GTA 5. Alright, so it started back up. As you can see, we're loading into a white screen. Once you guys have loaded into that white screen, you're going to be on offline mode and you want to change your settings on your controls and your target mode to free aim. Once you guys have changed it to free aim, you guys can hop out and it's going to put you onto that white screen. Once it's on that white screen, you're going to want to do the raise wanted cheat, which is for PS4, double R1, and then circle, R2, left, right, left, right, left, right. Once you guys have done that once, you're only going to want to do it once, don't do it twice, don't do it three times, you're going to wait for them to bust you. Once they've busted you, click the PS4 button. Alright, as it busted me, click the PS4 button, and you want to go back to activities. Once you're at activities, you're going to want to start a GTA 5 online activity again. Alright, so we're going to find one right now. Uh, Big Nate got restyled and we're going to click that one or any one like that So once you click that you want to start GTA online click it accept it And then it's going to trip you out how you guys know you've done the glitch as if it goes to that funny colors as you see on screen well, If it goes to that funny colors you guys know you did the glitch correct All right, so we loaded back onto GTA online with an offline character as you guys can see and all you guys want to do is go to and find another purity plant. Once you've found another purity plant, you're going to eat it. As you can see, we're just showing you a new location for your purity plant. And I'm going to go there now. So we're just showing you from where we are to that purity plant. Alright, we're going to head there now. Alright, so we're there now and we're going to go and eat that one. But before we do, I want to show you guys that it is going to cost me money to buy something. So we're going to go pull up the interaction menu and we're going to buy ammo. You will see that it does take away money. But, but after we eat this purity plant, it won't cost us a dime. Alright, so it cost us 263 and now we're going to eat the purity plant, and it's going to cost us nothing to do anymore. Alright, so once we've eaten it, we're going to open the interactions, go to ammo, and watch this, guys. Didn't cost us anything to upgrade our ammo and to buy full capacity. As you can see, the glitch has worked now, and you shouldn't be able to pull up your phone. Alright, so once that has happened, we're going to find a new session, and then we're going to load into a new GTA 5 session. Once we're in a new GTA 5 session, as you guys can see, we've loaded with that Deluxo. We're going to fly it to our facility or any other place that has a computer. So you've got your bunker, you've got your apartments, and you've got your clubhouse. All right, so once we're there, we're just going to head in and I'll show you guys what to do next. So we're going to run into our facility or your bunker or your MOC or any place that has the laptop. Because you cannot do this on your phone because your phone cannot be pulled up at the moment. 
All right, so once you guys are out in your facility or place, you're gonna to wanna to go to the laptop. As seen on screen, we're going to the MacBook in our facility, and you guys can just go crazy and buy whatever you guys want. You can buy any car you want, any war stock item. You guys just need to have the proper equipment to hold it, as you guys need. If you wanna buy a plane, you guys need a hangar. If you guys wanna buy a car, you need a, a garage. If you guys wanna buy a boat, you guys need that equipment. All right, so I'm just gonna show you exactly what I bought and on different websites just to give you guys a range of what you guys can buy as you can see we have bought the new cars we've bought the new we've bought the boat and we've also bought a few planes all right so we've bought the new boat and we're done we're going to head out of the website and we're going to run to our garage once you guys are in the facility garage you guys want to just check and make sure every deluxo or whatever you guys bought is in there you guys cannot continue the glitch unless everything is in there. If everything's in there, you guys are sweet to go. Also, as you guys can see, we are upgrading stuff and some costing a dime. So you guys can do upgrades if you guys have got the upgrading in your place. All right, so once you guys are finished with that, you wanna exit your apartment or facility. Once you guys have done that, you're gonna to wanna to change your clothing as that will make a save. As you guys can see on the bottom screen, the orange saver will come up. Once you guys have done that, you wanna go on to kill yourself. Once you guys click kill yourself, you wanna click the PS4 button as seen on screen. We're gonna click that now. All right, so click the PS4 button, then we're gonna go and suspend the application. Once you guys suspend the application with either YouTube or Spotify, then you wanna go back to GTA 5 online. Once that happens, you will see that a little alert and you wanna continue once that allows you to continue. So once that allows you guys to continue, you guys are gonna to wanna to load back into the game and you guys are gonna spawn with your GTA 5 character in your GTA 5 online lobby. Once you guys have loaded into the game with your character, you guys will wanna go back to the places where you have bought cars and that type of stuff. Once you guys go back to those places, you guys basically just need to switch the cars around. As seen on screen, we're just heading into our facility and we're gonna switch the cars around. That pretty much saves the cars. All right, so we're gonna to head to the blue circle down below. Once we've headed to the blue circle down below, we're going to just switch everything up. As you guys can see, we're just switching every car around and that pretty much saves it. If you guys cannot switch a car, as in like the tank over there, all you guys have to do is get into the car, drive it out and then drive it back in, as that will save the car. So we're gonna do that with the tank and that will save the tank. So once you guys do that with the tank, that will automatically save. You guys can do it with the jetpack, you guys can do it with the planes, and pretty much that's all you guys have to do. As seen, we're going out and we're going in. All right, so this is also my helicopters and planes. I'm just gonna show you guys how to do that. So you guys are gonna switch around your planes and helicopters that you guys just bought. Once you guys have done that, just go to your apartment. If you guys did it also in your apartment and switch the cars around there as seen on screen. Once you guys have finished all of that, you wanna suspend the application again. Once you guys have spent the application by going to either YouTube or Spotify, you're going to want to go back to the application on GTA 5 and it should load you back into a new session. Once it loads you back into a new session, you guys are completely done with the glitch. But you guys have to do one more step to go back online if you guys ever have trouble. As you guys can see, everything has loaded in and I'm just going to change our outfit one more time so everything saves. Well, as you guys can see, we just changed our outfit. We had to wait for that little circle on the bottom right, the orange circle. Once that is finished, we guys can exit GTA 5 online. Once we exit GTA 5 online, we're gonna open it back again. But as soon as that chick with the bikini goes away, we're gonna hold the L1 and R1 button at the exact same time, and we're gonna hold that until I say stop. All right, so once that display calibration comes up, you guys can let go of those two buttons and just calibrate your display. Once you guys have done that, you guys have finished with the glitch. It will load you into story, but then you guys are gonna go back to your GTA 5 online and every car will be there. That is the workaround for this glitch. This is an updated version and it works from now. Hope you guys enjoy. My name is Thorpey. I really hope you guys subscribe and with notifications turned on and like this video. I put a lot of video I put a lot of I put a lot of time into these videos and I hope you guys subscribe. Peace out, Thorpey out, stay tuned for more.